A summoner has disconnected. seconds until minions spawn. <laughs> awesome. Button's still not working for some reason, so... That actually does not make me happy, but welcome back to Fly Monster Cup, and, uh, well, I'll just go ahead and redo exactly what I just did for the past minute right there. We have... <laughs> The first quarterfinal of the day, with Dragon Team going up against Loop and Shore here. And Dragon Team coming from Group C, taking first place, beating out HWA, Cloud9, and Unicorns of Love. And then, of course, Mouse Sports placing second in Group B, beating out Tick, Trick, Duck, and HD Team, which you guys might recognize as Herkybot's team. But Loop and Shore going for a little bit of an evade there. They do just ward up and back out. And apparently, for some reason, my, my hotkey for the mic just doesn't want to work while I'm in game, so I'll have to make sure to look into that a little bit later on. But here comes a counter invade. Uh, Dragon Team going straight for the blue buff, and well, it looks like they will get a close one off here. I also get word from the admin that apparently my mic is muted, or was muted. All right, but we're going to have a little bit of a lane swap as well. So Dragon is going to be sticking with Kikis here, probably going for that four-man push into the top side when they do steal away the blue buff here. And the same thing is happening over on the side of Dragon Team. So a little bit of a, you know, standard meta, as we've been seeing here over the past couple of weeks within LCS. This is on turn own, guys, so this isn't the latest patch. This is actually on 4.6, I believe. And we'll see uh, how this one does break out here, as well, both top laners are going to be running that teleport. And obviously going to be around to go in for these pushes. And, well, I'm not sure we're spotted out taking away the blue. And we're spotted out taking the white camp as well. Hopefully the mic's working well now, though, guys. You know, there's only so much I can do about that. I don't know why it doesn't work sometimes when I'm in-game. I couldn't tell you what's wrong with that. But here comes a little bit short push in the top lane. And they will go for that four-man push, and they will take down this turret here. In the meantime, Dragon only responding with a three-man push on the bottom side. A little bit uh, unusual here not to have Mirror and there to help out with this, but he wanted to secure his own red buff, and, well, he will be able to pick it up. And that will be the first turn of the game going over a little bit short here. And look at that, you know, wave clear between these two teams. It's pretty close, to be honest. You have, you know, Lucian, Zyra, and Vi on the side of Dragon Team. And over on, uh, you know, Lupin Shore, we have Shivana who can do some pretty good AoE. You have Lee Sin, you have uh, Morgana. Twitch really can't do too much. Well, that will be a 1-for-1 trade in turrets. And, well, they're going to continue to push bottom and top at the same time. And Lupin Shore is, well, they will be to pick up here the second turret. And Kiki's trying to back out as quick as possible. Let me look to hold on to that turret here and not let that one go down in the meantime. It looks like that will be 2-1 to one now in favor of Lubin Shore, but we'll find out if the bomb turret for them it does get taken here as well. You see, already down very low, and that will be the 2-for-2 two two trade. Alright, so off the back of that, what's going to happen here? And I see Dragon Team continue to push, so looking for the inhibitor turret here, and... Well, instead, they do back off, trying to get the uh, recall out of the team, and that will be successful. So, really staring to what we've been seeing within the uh, group stages of Black Monster Cup. Nothing too uh, too fancy here out of them. And let's take a look at CS here in the mid lane. 26 to 20, so a little bit of a lead for Legat. And speaking of that, I don't believe I did the rosters. Uh, I did it when I had the mic muted, but I'll do it again for you guys at home, in case you're a little unfamiliar with either of these teams. We have Power, Dream, Mirror End, Legat, Vincent Vega, and Archie on the side, Dragon Team. Well, for Lubin Shore, we have Jockeys, which I believe is substituting for Mackler since he's having some, uh, I think, maybe health issues. Kiki's in the jungle, take Funarino in the mid lane. Mackler and Libic as that AD carry and support. And well, I can see going to more of a uh, standard game here now. Except the only difference is, is that you see the top binder for Dragon Team, he's getting that top farm. Uh, that Trundle, he's getting all of that here, but you can see. Top laner for Lubin Shores. He's taken away a lot of the jungle creeps. He's now heading towards the top, but you can see the difference between the two teams that Lubin Shores are feeding over their, their farm to their AD carry. We're on the side, uh, obviously, as you can see, by coming in here for a gank. Gotta take Funarino. We'll pop the flash for this one. We'll actually get taken down here. First blood going over to Mira, and now Kiki's. I'm not sure if he's going to escape this one. Red buff taken away. He will get the safeguard, and he will escape that one. But feeding the, the farm for Lubin Shore over to the AD carry versus Dragon Team feeding the farm over to their top lane. And Libic, he's got to be careful. Does dodge away, though. From that grasping root. 
A little bit of force them back just a little bit here. So first blood in favor of uh, Dragon Team. And getting off to a strong start. Macklo going to chase down Vincent here. Made some pretty good damage. Not enough to kill him just yet, as you can see, even with that expunge. We're able to force him back nonetheless here and continue to build up a little bit of a CS lead here. Oh, sorry, Kuban. Yes, I meant Kuban. Subbing for Kuban. You know, it's, it's, it's funny to me is I used to think Kuban was actually Mackler, and Mackler was Kuban, just by the way they looked. Because they, they look pretty, pretty similar. At least to me. But either way. Take a look at the items really quickly as... Well, Mackler trying to be very aggressive here on the bottom side. We see the Spirit of the Idols picked up from your end. The help of that first blood is able to secure that item very early on. See a double Doran's blades picked up for jockeys. You see one Doran's blade and one longsword picked up for power of dream. And in mid lane, take fun. Well, he's going for that vamp sector, trying to keep his sustain up in lane. And uh, Legant, he's going for that. I want to say DFG here. He should be going for DFG as his first buy, but he has the Phoenix Codex just for a little bit of uh, extra CDR. I've seen that poke come in for a little bit here for a little bit short, but Archie, not going to care too much. He should be able to stay fine here in lane with the help of uh, his health pop. But Legant getting pushed on. Ultimate going to come out from uh, Zed here. And he actually might get popped off of this one. And he will stay alive. And now Jockey's getting ganked to the top side. As you do see the ultimate come in at Trundle. Vi doesn't have level 6 just yet. But Jockey's trying to run away from this one. He does have flash. He will use it. And he will escape that with Kiki's coming in as well to help out. But still, Summoner now down. There might even be more action breaking on the bottom side. As Mako now getting caught out in 1v2 here. We see the exhaust come in on a Vincent. Mako popping the heal. And Bonnie will come in, but he is stealthed up. He will back out of that one, and he will stay alive here to fight another day. And as now Jockey's being chased down by Mirror End. If he lands his Q, that's going to be a death one, but he misses it. No, Jockey's able to juke around him, and will the Pillar of Filth be enough? Will Power Dream get there in time? He does get the Pillar off, but Jockey's still alive. The Flash comes in, and then has a kill picked up for Power of Dream right there. He is now 1-0, and zero, and Mirror End obviously picking up the assist off of that one. And Jockey's trying to go for the jukes right there, but it just doesn't really work out, unfortunately, for him. Oh, now red buff. Direct to camera, please. Being sold away, Kiki's does get taken down, though. And now Libic trying to run away from this one. He does have flash. He will use it over the Baron well, but LeBlanc can't really outflash LeBlanc. Picks up the kill, and that is now a strong 4-0 lead here for Dragon Team. And, you know, I would have given the, the, the game to, well, at least in my mind, the favorites over to Lublin Shore. You know, obviously being XLCS players, you know, I'm Kiki's who's been around for such a long time on many teams, even back in Season 2, and... You know, to me, they're, they're the more experienced players, but Dragon Team, gotta give them credit. They are performing pretty damn well here. Not to mention Power Dream. Well, double the CS, two kills and an assist. And almost has that Blade of the Rune King now done. So let's see as it does progress on. And as you can see, Jockey's forced to go in for a Chain Vest right away. So gonna be going in for that, uh, that Sunfire Cape. Take Fun Arena. Well, he tried to all in a Bonk earlier on, as you saw. It just wasn't enough damage. And he's kind of hit that point now where the Bonk can probably overpower him a little bit. He's only sitting on 900 gold, so I'm not going to really have anything built up here just yet. Maybe going for Sork Boots now. Maybe actually going for the Chalice. We'll see. Yeah, it goes for Sork Boots. So looking for that 1v1. Looking for that dual potential. And to be honest, he should be able to pull it off here. Let's take a look at Mackler. What is he doing? He is trying to freeze a lane a little bit. Now I'm probably just going to shove it out since he has a big wave built up. And he's trying to get a lot of farm, and as you can see, he's a little bit in the lead. But that's not going to matter because Vincent has a giant wave shoving up into him now. So let's see how this one goes here. And obviously Lucy's going to be a little bit stronger than Twitch uh, at this point in the game, in the mid game. I'm getting locked down. Mirren coming from the side. Does have the red buff. Does have the slow. And we'll back out. Doesn't want to actually push this one in here. And well, Vincent, he wanted to fight that one. Even dashing over the wall, but they do back away. And now, just poison up for Baron, or sorry, for Dragon. And as you can see on your minimap, Kiki's and Jockey's are nowhere to be seen for this. And that will be first Dragon picked up for the side of Dragon team. And they are now leading by, what, 3.1, 3.2 thousand gold here. That's looking to only get bigger. And Kiki's, well, a little bit of safeguard away here, but you still can't escape on the Blanc. And that will be now kill number two for her, or him. Not a strong game here for Lublin Shore, and... Again, I kind of expect them to them to be the ones dominating, but 
you know, Dragon Team they have. You know, they have a pretty strong... I'd say they're a pretty strong team up to the late game point. And even then, they're pretty damn good with the Trenda ultimate. But, you know, Zed, when he gets late game and Twitch are just so hard to deal with. And not to mention Shivana getting in the face of Lucy to be able to chase him down. But right now, it doesn't even look like it's going to get to that point. Dragon Team, 11 minutes in, but they're poising to push down onto potentially some more turrets. Or maybe they want to try to you know, farm at this advantage. They have to be careful because Vincent has to keep his farm up. It looks like he will be able to uh, actually surpass Mackler here in just a few seconds. And Blanc sitting on a thousand gold and obviously working towards that DFG. Doesn't have it just yet, though. Uh, a little bit short is X Meter Makers, yes. But they're X Mouse Sports, which is X Lube and Shore, which is X Meter Makers. A little bit, a little bit confusing, but they basically are X Meter Makers, yeah. All right, so let's see what's going to happen here. Warren's being put up in that tri bush. I'm trying to push onto that top turret here, and oh, Trundle, he is a beast right now. He almost has the money he needs for that uh, Blade of the Rune King. Actually, he does have the money for it, and then, all right now, Jockey's going to be chased out here. He has the ultimate, so they're not going to catch him out. Kiki's coming in, misses the Q, though, unfortunately. This will be a three-on-three. Three. Let's see if the fight even happens as, well, oh, Rest Roots comes in on a Jockey's, locks him down, but they do back away. The Dark Binding didn't connect. In the meantime, bottom lane, we do have Vincent pushed up here. Maybe looking for a duel against Mackler, and it looks like he will be chasing down here. Colin comes out doing some pretty good deeps. He's able to hide behind the mini wave, not able to kill him just yet. And he will force him back. And you can see, only very low in life here and trying to defend on that turret. But here comes Power Dream coming in. Kiki's getting blown the hell up right away, and Miran will pick up that one. Now Archie getting caught under the turret, will flash away. Jockey's trying to chase after him, but he gets taken down by Archie. And then has a successful dive coming in, two kills for zero. And now they're looking to take this turret here. And know what? They probably will have it on this next minute anyway, but Zed and LeBlanc going head to head. LeBlanc gotta be careful. Won't try to juke away from Take Fun Arena. He's chasing the wrong clone. Now he's gotta be careful. It looks like he will probably just hop over the wall. Miran getting clocked down here. He's gotta be careful. Take Fun coming in. Pops the, uh, the dive on top of him. And Take Fun with the exhaust coming in onto power. He's gonna be able to pick up the double kill here. And that's exactly what they needed. They were struggling a little bit. Finally breaking through with two kills himself. So in the end, it's a two for two trade. Archie, well, it might be a 3 for 2 in favor of Lubin Shore as he's trying to just kite them around. He's got to be careful. Dodges the Dark Bonnie. Does not land the Grasp Root in time. And take Funerino. Picks up a triple kill now. <laughs> as you can see, Vincent, well, able to outfarm Mako now. It's on 2,000 gold to spend, too, so that Bloodthirster will be done momentarily. And how much is the Blanc out? 1600 so well, she's gonna have that new slow draw finally and she should easily be able to take on take fun arena 1v1 the difference is he now has that build draw to on top of the brutalizer so trying to think does she have that burst potential i think when the dfg is done guaranteed she should be able to take zed on 1v1 all right now it's all about who's outplaying the other and not to mention trundle now has that blade ranking king for that top lane and he is so damn dangerous right now that you, know, you can see I'm not sure he's not even sending anyone up there to deal with him right now. Just let him free push. Jockeys can't really do anything against him. He doesn't have an item completed just yet. And things are starting to get out of hand. Not to mention him having pretty much 30 CS advantage, too. <laughs> Zed fed. He's got three kills, yeah. He's getting this kill with his overall gold. Eh, about 5,000. He's still behind the Blanc. And now falling further behind with that tower being taken down. Three to two here. The Dragon Team, are they going to continue to go for this? You have, uh, obviously, Vincent over towards the bomb side of the map. He's in a 1v2 here, and they're looking to shove on this one with that 3 and 2 advantage. And they've already shown how strong they can be at the dives, and Kiki's again getting blown up by Mirror End. The combo of the Trundle and the Vi is just too damn strong, and he gets bursted down. He's now 0 and 4 in this game. And you can see Legat trying to chase Zed up towards that, uh, that top side right there. But he was sitting in that bush just waiting for her to peek. And said, we'll back away. But these dives are just netting them kill after kill. And you can see Vi has a Brutalizer picked up. Now 3, 1, and 4. LeBlanc getting dove on take fun. Gonna pop the ultimate. LeBlanc will be get some distance. Actually, some uh, nice jukes coming in. Even the flash. And we'll survive the burst. Take fun didn't really get much damage once that uh, ultimate was applied. A little bit unfortunate for him. But either way, take fun doesn't pick that up. And LeBlanc will escape. That's warm welcome for Kiki's. Yeah, he's... He's just getting pummeled. I mean, uh, I think he wants to stay around to defend the turret. He has to show a presence there. 
And even with him dying, they hold on to the turret. But it's a trade they're going to have to go for. Do they lose the turret or they lose him? And well, right now he's not worth as much money, obviously, being four deaths in. All right, so man, how much money is he sitting on? 1,300. I'm going to go back, obviously, with... What is he going to pick up? She picks up a giant spell, so trying to get a little bit tanky. Sunfire Kate finally done for jockeys. And you can see, since Kiki has went in for the offensive item, that they're not even trying to, you know, go for jockeys. They want to go in for Kiki's every time, since he's so damn squishy. And I wouldn't be surprised if they continue to go for that push. I mean, Miran ultimate almost up. Vincent going ahead against Mackler. Coin was missing out quite a bit right there. Probably cancel a little bit earlier on. He probably got to take it Mackler in that 1v1, but... Not gonna be able to heal up. He has a blood of the ring king as his first buy here. Archie getting caught out by Libic. Here comes Bikikis from the side. The Q does land. They're not gonna go in for this one. So the team is there to defend against this and well, won't be able to lock anyone down with that tether right there. They will back out, but Dragon is up. And Dragon team, well, they still have by ultimate. And they're going straight for Zed. You're trying to flash over the wall as well, but he gets over the wall back for himself. The Grass Roots locks him down, and Legat will be able to hop over the wall. He gets chased down by Lee Sin, and trying to juke him with the uh, clone will get kicked back into the pit where Jockeys picks up the kill with his W, and then Mirren gets the kill out of Kikis either way. And now Archie, well, he's going to be taken down by both Dragons. As that uh, power comes up from the side, and there is a double kill now picked up for Jockeys. A one for two trade, sorry, for two for two trade here, but now power. Trying to start around, trying to fight from this one. Merit doesn't have any mana left, and he won't be able to chase them down here, but we'll force them back. Mackler gonna stick around from the side. Stealth up, maybe looking for a, a moment to shine here, and he might be able to pick up an easy kill to power. It does pop a little bit of a flask in there. And Dragon being taken down slowly. They have smite advantage. And let's see who gets it, and it looks like they will focus on down. Power stays alive. Dragon does go down, and because the dragon was killed, power got the healing from his passive and survives that dive. And now double kill coming in for Mirren there. Libic, the last man standing, will back away. But a great play just to focus down the dragon, give Trundle the extra healing off his passive from that, and stay alive. That was... Oh, that, that was like a Korean type play right there. That was so well done to just focus that dragon down. Because I realized that Trundle was so damn low on life. Alright, so hitting that 18 minute mark now, as you can see, 12 to 5 in kills. Two dragons in favor of Dragon Team, though. And they are up a substantial amount of gold here. Let's see, are they gonna push this turret down? I got, let's have that DFG done. Maybe looking for the fight here, just put the DFG. Does go in for the burst, does try to back away for this one. And he does get some distance between him and Kiki's the ultimate gonna proc, but not do really much of anything. His power getting kicked back into the turret. He needs to stay alive here, and he's actually doing that for uh, a long time. See, when Archie comes in, tries to help him out, and they will be able to lock him down with that grasping roots, and well, Limit maybe want to chase him down here, but the body won't connect, and not going just a little bit too late to the party, but in a way, a lot of being committed from both teams there. But no kills coming in. <laughs> okay, so Random to one picked up for Mirren He is 6, 1, and 5 here And the Blanc going in, looking for some deeps On the Kikis, and well, Kiki's going to be taken down here One more attack is enough, Vincent picks it up Tower going to go down as well Now 35, here comes Mirren though Cornfield's trying to take fun, and he will get dropped as well Mirren is unstoppable, 7, 1, and 5 His jockey's trying to back away They will pick up at least one kill, that one for Mackler Mirren does pick up a double though, and the flash away He will be able to escape this one not to mention that Pillar of Filth or Pillar of Ice, whatever you want to call it, will be able to keep him alive. But Archie trying to back out, trying to stay alive against Jockeys. And they will look to chase him, but you can see power too damn healthy for them. And I'm pretty sure they can't really afford to fight that one. And they will have to back away. So one death for three kills. Not to mention a turret picked up. And right now, Dragon Team are just getting further and further ahead. And they're almost getting to that point to be 10,000 gold. And we're well, going to get some good damage onto the turret. They're not going to take it down just yet. Power able to really take that down to half HP and able to dodge away from that dark binding, so he will escape that. This is looking very good here for Dragon Team. You can see CS lead isn't that much different anymore, but the kills is where it's really at. 8, 1, and 5. 11, 1200 gold to spend for mirror end. And you can see he can 1v1 Mackler, <laughs> and his ultimate uh, lets them get the kill on the Kikis, lets them get the kill on a take fun. Even if he's on a Mackler as well, and if he can 1v1 the AD carry, that's not a good sign. I don't know who holding Caulfield is, so I couldn't tell you. 
Alright, the jockeys though, not going in for his Blade of the Ring King, going in for his Randuin's Omen. He's gonna need that slow to help out his team, to help Makra kite a little bit. Oh, Legat going in now. Uh, probably Zonia's, I'm gonna say, as power. Uh, try and chase down Kiki's here with the help of Blade of the Ring King and his ultimate. And uh, Kiki's, you can see, taking half damage just from one person, just from the top laner. And they're focused on this top lane. You can see that Miltur was already taking on half, about half HP, but looks like they're feeling a little bit more comfortable on this one, seeing that Macro is at the bottom lane, as well as uh, Libic. And clear out that pink ward there and push on this turret. And that one will be taken out for free. That'll be now 4-3. to three. Or, Sorry, it wasn't taken on the top lane. taken on the bottom lane by Macro. Now take it 5-3 to three here as... Oh, my God. I don't, I've already seen him land many of his snares, many of his leashes, I'll say that. And he's still doing the damage. You can see right now the giant team looking for that fight. 7.5, 7.6 thousand gold lead for them. You can see it easily reflected in the items as well. And Power Dream has that random with Omen done. And you can see Vincent building into that Triforce. He should have a decent amount, thousand gold. But these teleports, they haven't been used too much here. And Power, and we will have to push bottom. And we'll obviously have the teleport to go towards the top lane if they need to, or maybe middle. I'm a little bit confused, actually, to why they're not pushing on this mid lane here when they're going to have it down about half HP. Even lower than that. I'm assuming with power pushing up the bottom lane, they're going to do that. Not to mention, they will have Dragon in about a minute. So I'll go for a push on the middle turret. Retreat into Dragon. Pick that one up as well. Get a nice, uh, you know, two or three thousand gold off of that. And you can see there's no vision control on the bottom side of the map for Lupin Shores. They have to be careful. Even the god was just kind of waiting for someone to actually... Sneak right by him, and it looks like he might have the possibility. Morgana and Mackler. They're both so damn close, and if he had a ward to put down. Oh, no. Is he going to spawn? He sees Mackler. He goes straight in for him, and look at the burst damage. They got takes Mackler down, and that sets up for Dragon perfectly. 30 seconds left on Mackler, 30 seconds left on Dragon. And that will be another free one for them if they do decide to go for it. But then again, they can push on middle here. They can pick up a turret really easily. And that's it they go with. Not to mention power still pushing that bottom lane. He could have an inhibitor turret or he could teleport middle to help with the shove. Let's see what he does do here. And it looks like Legat and Vincent will be the two men to push up. I'm not really, not really digging this. They could easily be caught out here. And Vincent will get locked down by the dark binding. And I'm not they're able to scare them away off of that. But that could have went horribly. And they have a four on... Two push in the mid lane, and yet they're kind of uh, making it go for nothing right now. Let's see if they will rotate around here. Dragon now up, I'm looking for that kill. And that ward now will be spot power coming from the max. That all needs to do is one pillar to cut them off. It looks like they will go for the pits. We have oh, have to be careful. We got does some really good damage. Kiki's won't get snared down though, as he does pop back. But they will pick up the turret, and will they continue for more here? And all it takes is one ultimate from Mirror End, who's going into. Quite a few items now. Going for that Black Cleaver next. And just warding up, trying to uh, see where Lumenshores is going from, or coming from, and that's a, that's a perfectly smart move. Basically a free dragon, yeah. They're going to be spotted going for it here, but power will be one on four. Trying to go for a little bit here. Archie comes from the side. Ultimate going to be popped. Kiki's going to be knocked up here. Actually, he won't, but Legat will pick up the kill on a little bit. And then we'll see him back away. Now Vincent going head-to-head -head against Jockeys here, trying to cut him around. Power Dream chasing on Mackler with the help of that random one's omen. He gets sold up. Miran going to pop the ultimate. That will be another kill. Three kills coming in. And maybe number four here is Legat will be dropped, I would imagine. No, but the ultimate, the level keeps him alive because of the kill. He picks up a double. He still survives. And Jockeys is a last man remaining here and they're going to go back to base to maybe heal up off of this one but they're going to get barren and they're going to easily secure a 12,000 gold lead here only 25 minutes in and that's so unfortunate for the side of Wilbur's Shores but <laughs> you still take fun try to burst down like god but that level like that's something that you can't really ever expect to happen when you're in this stage of the game with that point of the fight breaking out. Alright, now Dragon is up. Zona's Hourglass picked up for LeBlanc. Not Cleaver for Mirror End and Trinity Force for Vincent. So, even Leandre's Torment picked up for Archie. And you can see just in terms of items, full item ahead for Vincent. They got, eh, 
almost full item ahead, almost has his void stuff done. Mirror end, like three full items ahead pretty much. And Power of Dream, he's a good full item or two ahead. And take fun, look at that damage. Legat just bursts him down and right now you can see Lumen Shores after getting dragged and they're trying to back away and defend this push onto middle, but I don't really think they can do much of that. They're still sticking around. Oh, Miran might get caught out here in a 1v3. Does he have enough to, uh, to get away from this one? He does have Flash. They'll probably pop the own escape here. We'll get kicked away. And we'll flash, we'll use a Q, and he will get some distance. But he has stalled them. That's all he needed to do. They pick up the inhibitor. They're going to pick up the inhibitor off this as well. And that will now be finally Lumen Shores backing out. And again, just out position. 21 to 6 now, 26 minutes in. 12.3 thousand gold lead. And it's really their game to lose. I wish there was an item that made her, that made her first spell useless. Like, Banshee's Veil, I, I think you're going for. Alright, about that middle inhibitor being down, that wave will be shoved in with super minions. Dragon Team gonna push bottom instead. Get all that free farm on the bottom side for Vincent. Let's see, Power Dream still pushing top. How's that Hex Drinker now done? He's got to be a little bit careful here. There's two people coming from the side. He will spot out Kiki's, and well, maybe Kiki's the one that has to watch out. As you see the damage that he's able to do here. Blade of the Rune Kick pop Kiki. He's going to get eaten by Trundle. And now he's going to be in a one on three here with Zed coming up from the mid lane. And he will just back away. And you can see Kiki's not having the best of games. I don't really want to say his... Uh, Leblanc just blowing up back there. I didn't want to call out exactly what uh, Kiki's score was. He's 0 and 8. But right now, I mean, two of the teammates have five deaths. And has three, one has two. I mean, they're just not having the best of games here. And you know, Leblanc will warrant for a ban next time here as we're going to get in Dovon. And Vincent will pick up that kill. All too easy for him. That inhibitor turret will be dropped as well as the inhibitor right after. And potentially even the game here. They still have 14 seconds on the Mackler, 20 on uh, Libic. They have Superman's pushing middle. They have two inhibitors now down. And, well, why not finish it? If LeBlanc's able to do that right there, just jumping in. Does get the Blue of the Rune King popped on her. Just to help take Fun Arena survive instead of pushing. They do back out. I might have to play this one, but, uh, wow. Play this one by the book. Maybe take that top inhibitor turret down and play from there. <laughs> Kiki's 007. 008 now. Maybe soon to be 009. We'll find out here. Oh, and we'll be pushing in a little bit. I'll see how the two lanes of Super Marines pushing in. Let me sure they have to fight here. And well, right now, Legat, not letting that happen. Trying to pick off the Kikis. And they'll push straight onto this turret. Gonna be dropped very, very quick, as you can see. And Jockey's going in for that last little bit of fight here. But he gets blown up so damn quickly. Mirren going straight for Macro, keeping him completely out of the fight here. And actually 1v1 him yet again. That is the first kill of the fight finally happening. Take fun, trying to go back into Archie. Archie will stay alive, will not even get bursted down. That Blade of the Ring King was used, obviously, when he got jumped on by the Blanc earlier on. That actually would have been enough to finish off the kill, but either way, that will be the final inhibitor being taken down. Libic being dropped as well. And that will be the first game going over to Dragon Team. You can see just completely walked over by them against Lubin Shore here, and they're looking like a pretty damn strong team. Remember, I didn't really expect them to be the favorites in this, but they are proven to really be so. 29-minute victory, 27-6 in kills, and almost 20,000 gold lead there. That's... That's hard to come back from. Uh, that means we're going to go a quick little break before we do get underway with our second game. But just want to remind you guys, there's actually a giveaway happening over on the Black Monster Cup Facebook page. I'll link you guys in chat for this one. They're giving away some, some cool stuff. a shirt, a hat, maybe even a hard drive in there. You just got to go and check out that post I linked. And obviously, I uh, do what they say there. I believe it has to do with uh, the highlight videos we have and you collecting a little bit of information from that. But guys, we're going to have a quick little break. When we come back, we'll have the second game here between Dragon Team and Lubin Shores. I don't know what's going to happen, but if it's anything like the first game, it might be a quick one. We'll see you guys in a few.